Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Star Wars Rise of Skywalker set review, and this one is on the Fasana Speeder Chase. So on the front of the box here, you can see that neat new border with the minifig Kylo Ren there, and also the logos there, and picture of the set in action with the Jet Trooper launching off like in the trailer, and uh, Recommended ages is eight and up. Set number seven five two five zero has three hundred seventy three pieces, and all the minifigs included with it. And flip to the back, you can see both of them in a resting position and all the features of it. So on to the introduction booklet. It would same pictures on the front and everything, and kind of similar to the ones used in the like ideas line, thick book style, kind of neat. And on the back, kind of went on the online survey. And then all the pieces include the set. After the Skywalker Saga game coming in 2020, and after all the fall 2019 sets, and all the minifigs included in each set, and also uh, after Lego Life, and the last steps. First of all, for the minifigs, we have is an updated new version of Ray, and this is the outfit that she has on in the trailer for when she does the backflip on the tie interceptor. But oh, which done quite goodly, but also wielding the blue lightsaber as usual, and back torso print of which also quite good. But other than that, this, the hair piece and the face print, both face prints. Are the same as it's been as they've been since 2015. And could sure could use some updates for it, but I'm all right with it. And next is BB-8, which is printing and both pieces same as it's been since 2015. Okay. And next up is a. First order dread speeder driver. Oh, was, and no, not a first order stormtrooper, but because the torso printing and leg printing all done a lot differently, and of course holding a small blaster there and the helmet, of which the same as it's as all the stormtroopers have, and the back torso print of which done good. And then underneath the clone face, the annoying angry clone face. And then last up is the new First Order Jet Trooper. The torso print of which done good, holding a long blaster there, but the helmet piece of which quite cool. Like, although it does look kind of like the uh, uh, Range Troopers in Solo way, or in the Solo line. But however, it doesn't have the gold visor on it. So, Okay, there we go. But it does have like a thin visor to it, kind of interesting. And also has a new backpack piece with a little tile on it. And underneath the helmet, the annoying angry clone face again. And let me get that up. And there's his back torso printed, which about the same as most of the other stormtroopers and clone troopers all have. But that's about it with this jet trooper. And first of all, for the builds, is get this little stand, of which it has like this little crate there, and or a little box, and also this large crate, which has some little things to it, like a chainsaw on a lightsaber hill for some reason, and a grapple hook and a shovel. And, has, and also does have a little a tan flag piece on the side and also this little one of those like fence pieces but with the binoculars hanging from the side not sure what that's about but the top part of it which made of like dark red plates and also lightish blue plates kind of interesting and also odd greeble design on top 
uh, done quite nicely. Although this could work in like uh, beach settings in your Lego city. So, yeah. And next, I get this Dread Speeder. That was made, which is mostly consisting of dark gray, light gray, and a lot of sand blue. So, of which, good for mock making. And as you see, it does have that small dread piece. And how well does it end? It does roll well. So, making it good and swooshable. As for the front area, which would does have a couple of the like uh, foot fire missiles, but just added as extra detailing, and also does have the like like dud shooters there, but with trans green studs. Kind of interesting, kind of cool. Kind of this open. This, there's some more of the tread there, so enough space for it to roll and whatnot. And also the gold bar pieces acting as other greetings. Same with on the seat area, yeah. and also get enough space to fit your uh, trooper onto it. And also an, an extra seat for your jet trooper is on there, and let him fly around. And it's connected by some Technic uh, pieces there, and from the back some more of that, and couple of studs exposed there, and a couple of other Technic pieces, probably acting as exhaust pipe or something, not sure though, but whatever. And that's about it for that. And now on to what people are calling the new version of the Desert Skiff, but, well, kind of similar to the Desert Skiff, but it's kind of modified slightly and being sold like this. So like the front area of the vehicle, which has some good slope pieces, and there's a lot of stickers on all of these, and and that's so what looks kind of like a boat rudder, but or like a rudder, but to, in the front then, whereas it should probably be in the back. Uh, not sure why, but whatever. But on one side of which does have a like stud shooter and a sticker tile there. And also, do have a couple of brackets for, or bars for mini figs to hold on to, and also another tan flag thing on there. But on the other side, which a large array of barring for mini figs to grab on to and ride on. But also does have the like, like cylinder pieces for some reason. Not sure what that's for, but. However, done kind of interesting, but a little asymmetric in the front, but the back of which perfectly symmetric. On both sides has the mini tubes in black, of which is good for mock making. But whereas in this front area of which done with one of those odd pieces and also a round, rounded out plate there. And uh, one of those like weird utensil pieces, not sure what to call those. But of course, a like single stud there probably to stand a mini thing onto it, or at least position your BB-8 one onto. And also for the back of which have a couple of these uh, good symmetrical uh, called fin pieces, parts of it, with some more bars sticking out on it. And also, you have one of those like large canopy pieces, but turned upside down into the side to probably act as a guardrail area. But if look from the bottom, they have like clear uh, cylinder pieces and rounded pieces, just to give it the floaty effect, just like the desert skip and those swoosh well. And of course, enough space to fit your rate mini thing onto, as well as. If you have ones of like Poe and Finn, to, uh, enough space to fit, fit multiple mini figs on, like the regular Desert Skiff does. And it's also like in that trailer when he and they and C3PO were being chased on it. And so those two, also two like uh, ball joint kind of pieces there. And so now. 
for a little comparison is with the 2017 version of the uh, Desert Skiff that I see, which does have a lot more bulk to it. it and also the same floaty effect to it, and also the like thin effect. So like so. But although this which quite differently probably make it new for this new film, but however. Uh, but they just wanted probably just wanted to keep the piece count there with the tread spear and the mini build and whatnot. Which they could have included some more figs with this new version, but probably bump up the price a little more. But it's forgiven. And and that. And so now on to with the final verdict on this plane. So overall, this is which a uh, pretty cool set, where it's like two vehicles together in a set, which they barely do nowadays, and at least first time getting a jet trooper included with this, which kind of different to add to your first order armies, and also get another updated version of Ray. Well, but as for this side bill here, is I think they. It probably didn't have to be there, but at least probably wanted something to add in some extra playability to this other than this. But also both vehicles are good swooshable vehicles as well. And if you're like looking to get this set like for lock making purposes, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you're like looking to continue your collection of the Rise of Skywalker, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video, and thanks for watching.